Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Gary Martin, today you joining us at Woolley Park Golf Club with Paul Hemlin off the golf show. Hi Gary, how you doing mate? How you doing? Thanks yeah, good show. thanks, yeah. Good, got a nice day for it? We've got a lovely day, we're on the nine hole course here where it's pretty quiet and we're going to be testing a golf ball that I've found in America. Okay. It's, it's a lovely price point, yeah. a price point that I think most sort of, you know, club golfers yeah. like to spend on a ball. It's not the Pro V price point, but uh, just before we get into that yeah. and I, I reveal what ball we're going to be testing today, I've got a question for you Paul. Yeah. What do you think the most popular golf ball is on the golf market? The most bought golf ball? I would, instinctively I'd say the Titleist, but I'm going to say the Striction AD333. Wow, well I've brought three, I'm glad you've said that and we haven't prepped that, have <laughs> we? We honestly haven't prepped that. I have, I've brought three Striction AD333 to compare against these yeah. golf balls because the same price point, it's a £22.99 right. ball. Wow. But the difference is this ball is a four-piece yeah. cover. Yeah. It's a Eurofin cover. Right. So for feel and control, that's yeah. going to be fantastic. Yeah. And you'll probably agree, if anybody... What's your handicap these eight. days? You're an eight handicap. And what handicap did you first get when you started golf? 19. So from a 19 handicap, what's, what do you think has been the element of your game that's helped you improve the most? I think lessons with the PGA Pro yeah. has really helped. I think getting a better equipment as I've gone along. I use the same ball all the time. I was fitted for an AVX by Titleist a couple of years ago, so yeah. I religiously play, play the AVX. Um, but I think playing a bit more and, and lessons has helped. But the golf ball's so important. I mean, if yeah. you look at Formula One cars, yeah. they spend millions in wind tunnels, but it always comes down to who's got the best tyres for the last yeah. five laps. Yeah. So, you know, the golf ball, and I wonder how many golfers actually think of the golf ball as a piece of equipment. You think yeah. of these as, as your equipment, don't yeah. you? And you'll be playing with your mates. Oh, I'm playing a, that one's gone out of bounds. I'm playing a Taylor Made now. Yeah. It's like, but why aren't you using the same ball all the time? It's just a no brainer. I, I don't get it. I completely agree. There's yeah. nothing more or better than yeah. having the same ball for creating yeah. feel. But my point were is, as a golfer, you know, the, we're all banging on about short game, aren't yeah. we? Inside 100 yards. Yeah. And if you've got a ball that offers your ultimate feel and control, yeah. a four piece cover, you might be able to afford to lose five yards off tee. Exactly, yeah. You know, because that's not going to be where you're going to improve your scores. Yep. So that's why I'm looking forward to testing this well, golf that ball. Well, that price for a dozen is like getting four or five Pro V1s, isn't it? It's exactly, mega. yeah. You can afford to lose a few at that price. Yep. And, you know, 22 99 is a full retail price. I'm sure you eBay warriors might be able to get them cheaper. Yeah, I bet you can, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> right, let's get teed off. Um, we're going to start off with a Shrixen ball. We're going to start off with any trouble free on the first hole. Then we're going to switch over to the court. And see what we notice yep. about the ball. You know, we might have a little bit of a chip round green and stuff like yep. that. But uh, it's going to be an interesting one because the, I think the one of the best balls on the UK market um, is probably like the Kirkland Signature. Yeah, yeah. But that's only a three-piece ball yep. and that's at the same price point. So do you want the honour? Uh, sure, what we got? It's 250 yards. Par four. Par four, 250. We're straight out of the car, guys. We're on a... We've not had time for a warm up, have we? No, no. And I'm 50 next week, so these bones <laughs> are getting old, buddy. So that is that one down there, isn't it? Yeah. Bit cutty, missed that bunker. Oh, just, just missed it. Just passed it. Just passed it, not my best. Get in the comments, guys, if you use an AD treble free, why do you use an AD treble free? What is it about this ball? that you like, because as I say, it is one of the most bought golf balls on the market. Well, you you beat that one, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that is a Friday morning topper. That was straight out of the car, wasn't it? 136 yards in, after that outrageous opening shot. I'm gonna have to go a little late, because I've brought a little half set today. Because we're going to be playing with Paul's clubs, aren't we, next? I'm going to go over to Paul's channel. He's got a little surprise for us. Yeah, I yep. think we're just on the green. 
Up 72 hill. yards in for Paul. I used to play these tricks and balls all the time. That looks good. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> well, although I've only hit one decent strike so far, it did feel quite hard. Yeah. I mean, I'm used to playing with a Pro V, so I guess it would do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What yeah. would you normally game then? I'm normally an AVX. Right, so, so did you feel that were a bit firm off face? It did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so advantage Paul. Great approach shot. We're just saying how good these greens are looking. Uh, it's winter golf here at the minute. And so this time of year, it's mega, isn't it? Yeah, they're looking great. There's a reason why we've come on nine all today. Um, it's not because that we're skimping on green fees. <laughs> it's that we're going to be going over to Paul's channel after this to test his new irons. It's, a, it's an iron that I'm really interested in buying. And I think with Paul having them in the bag a few weeks, you'll have some great tips for anybody else that's thinking of. Yep, just have to sit down. Buying the irons. Steady, steady. Go pop. Oh, get it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Let's move that to the side. Shows me this one there. One this way. Gave it a look. Oh, close the face. Look here. Oh. I wonder if that firmness at ball might have had anything to do with that first put. Possibly, yeah. If you're used to using AVX. Nicely done. Cheers. Oh, thought I had you there. <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite bold branding they've gone for there, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. It says this ball goes super far. It feels crazy good, and it's a top quality tour ball at an affordable price, which ticks every box. I think it's what, it's what you want to hear. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I remember being a, a newer golfer and yeah. not wanting to, you know, spending twenty pound a box of balls. Yeah. We're a, it's a, a big deal. Amount yeah. of money, you know. Yeah. So. I think for a lot of golfers, £20 is a, a price point yep. that is still, uh, you know, yep. good, good money, I really. I think so, yeah. So I'm going to give you a sleeve of them. Okay, I okay. think it were important just yeah. to have a, a hole with the Strix and just yep. to get a feel of, yep. you know, what a £20 ball feels. And we don't often yep. play with that kind exactly, of ball, yeah. do we? I think that first putt there as well, it sounded different coming off the putter and it just, yeah. it just ran away from me. I don't like to disparage brands, but yeah. I feel like anybody buying that Strix and ball yeah. are buying it for convenience because yeah. it's in the pro shop yeah. or it's in the American golf, it's there, it's... It's a brand you've heard of. I think it's probably a lazy buy. And they're generally on offer, aren't they? You're only getting a deal for two or three dozen of those. Yeah. Yep. Well, I think this is a buy that's probably one you'd have to search for. Yeah. Or, you know, you've watched this review today. You've, you're starting to think a bit more about your yep. golf. So, Excellent. Four-piece ball. Yeah. Let's uh, have a go. You're on it, Gary. One or two. Right, let's see if we get the bottom of the ball this time. <laughs> I think it's going to be all right for distance, it's just yep. uh, not the best shot. Bit right of the pin. How do you feel playing on camera, by the way? You must, yeah. Are you used to it now? Or yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's taken a little bit of getting used yeah. to. Yeah. I'm um, more used to it when I've warmed up. I'm feeling a bit nervous. Yeah. At the <laughs> <laughs> Just after that first. Shot. I normally play on my own, so you know, again, it's playing with somebody else as well. But Lovely strike. Great shot. That felt nice coming off the face there. Right, well, we're going to be testing our long range putting. Yeah, I've just signed up for an aim point course. I could have done with that before today because 
The greens at Fulford are, are generally pretty flat. Yeah. So there's a bit of, bit of undulation in these. This one's got quite a big swing, I reckon. I'll tell you what is interesting. Have you looked where yours is pitched? Mine's pitched here. Wow. You don't get that much spin with a, a normal 20 pound ball, do you? But I think that one's Gary, and look at the... Uh, what, 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 is he, is well, it okay, it's, it's scuffed up a little bit. Look at that. Look at that one shot. Can't you see some? Oh wow! We'll have to show you yeah. guys that. That is a bit of a surprise to me. That. So I ate a 49 degree wedge there. Yeah. Did feel nice and soft off the face. But can you just see there? It's just. You wouldn't be very happy with that, would you? If that was a first shot four out. pound tightless, you'd be unhappy, wouldn't you? Yeah. I suppose that's where you're probably, you know, why the sort of a little bit cheaper. Maybe the yeah. outer layer is not as durable. Steady. Ooh. Oh, wow. I've really opened door there. Oh, my word. Gary's seen my put in, so he's moving the camera further back to make sure we keep <laughs> the shot <laughs> on the screen. And have I gone the other way and undercooked it? Look at the swing. I think you definitely learnt a bit off mine that time. Right, I better roll this because I think uh, that's well within your range. I hope so. <laughs> it's not often you get this much swing on like a, a par three course, is it? It's really good. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't feel like a par three course. It's got the nice team markers, yardage markers. Yeah, it's definitely a good way to transition into sort of a full course Absolutely. if you're in area. Oh, oh baby, wow. Well done. Whew. Excellent. You know what you were saying about me not getting nervous on camera? <laughs> <laughs> so one hole with the cut ball, Gary, what do you think so far? Well, I think it's living up to its name, really. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know I hit that with a wedge, so there's going to be quite a bit of sort of grip on there and a bit of spin, but yeah. that's like putting that through a cheese grater. It is. I mean, that's why we do these reviews, yep. though, isn't it? We're Absolutely, only here to yep. sort of, you know, share our findings. We're not here to yeah. disparage any brands, but no. sometimes brands can learn from this, can't yep. they, as well? So, serious question, if you were in a comp, yep. would you have to, you'd have to change that ball, wouldn't you? I would think you I'd carry on playing with that? Well, it does affect the aerodynamics. Yeah. You know, it's like when you've got mud on your ball, it affects the aerodynamics. So, I think if I was playing in a comp, I would swap that out. Yeah. And he said one one full shot on it. How's yours? Mine's not too bad. I don't think that's just a bit of dirt, yeah. is it? So mine didn't manage to cut. What wedges are you using? Uh, PXG, Sugar Daddy 2s. <laughs> the Sugar Daddy 2s. So we've got 249 yard par 4. You can see there just on yeah. green there. Yeah. I think you've got to sort of aim up in between these two bunkers. Okay. It's like a bit of a two part hole. You've got plenty of room to bail out right if you yeah. need to. There. Could be on the dance floor, is it? Uh, it might be a bit short, I think. <laughs> they said that they've turned round, haven't they? I didn't think, it, I didn't think we could get there. Damn. It's a lot shorter than it looks. Are they on the green still? Yeah. Best hang on a sec. Mine just, definitely just has hit the green because yeah. the turn right rolled past them. <laughs> <laughs> we were uh, we were playing once. I, I, I finished school in Blackpool. I used yeah. to play at Stanley Park, which was actually Mackenzie Design Course, which is great. Yeah. And one of my best mates went to university the year before me, yeah. so he wasn't a member anymore. And he came back, and we sneaked him on on the second hole. Yeah. And the 17th there was a 241 yard drivable par four. Yeah. And it had a bunker in front of the green, and he hit it. And it bounced over the bunker and these guys started jumping up and down, like, oh, mate, what have you done? Yeah. And we get there and they're waiting for us. Thought, Maybe it's it. It's gone in the hole, young man. Yeah. So you've got a hole in one. <laughs> and the 18th ran parallel. Yeah. So they walked up the 18th. So they're telling everyone this young kid's just got a hole in one on 17. Right. So Dawn from the ticket office came out, yeah. clocked him, Neil was a member, charged him a green fee. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That was so funny. You can't write it, can you? Oh, that was brilliant. He's trying to go into radar. Yeah, yeah. Sneaked him on the second. He was going to leave after the 17th. Obviously, he's buzzing, just completely forgot all about it. Okay. And then he's got a group of people waiting for a bit bar. Like the guys in the bar, yeah. <laughs> Send that dear dear.
Oh, that's that's a lovely strike, that pole. Thank you. That's beautiful. Yep. Oh, we have I'm just apologised to group in front as well. It's his first time. Uh, I should have really known when I looked at distance I could have got there, but I just looked a long way. Oh, a bit hard, I think. Oh, that's, we'll we'll right. see how well that stopped. Yeah. Cause that's it's right right out of the middle, that one, Gary. So we'll be yeah. interested to see the spin on that because it was a nice nippy. Oh, brilliant. Nice nippy lie. And me and Paul were just saying there, his ball from here and there landed just before the pin. Right here, we think, don't we? We felt it should have had a bit more traction, you reckon? Yeah, I'm surprised that's run on 20 yards. Yeah. It was quite a nice, sort of tight lie there. It's going miles past. Look here. Mm. Oh dear. Look here. Nice, simple yeah. four though. I think it was a five. Or oh, was it five? That's Sorry. A three stab, yeah. First putt went miles past, so. I'll have a go for the birdie. Back to back. Front door. Nice birdie there, I've buddy. I've enjoyed well that. Thank you. I've Cheers. Thank that, you. Paul. Let's go and have yeah. a little conclusion. Yeah. He's actually taking the paint off. You can, you can feel that with you. I yeah. bet if you get your fingernail in today, you can probably pull a bit more off. And imagine, I would, I would probably say, well, imagine if that had hit a tree. Yeah. Because that's just from a, a strike with a wedge. So, guys, we're just going to conclude on that by basically saying, you know, I, I feel a bit disappointed, to yeah. be fair. Yeah, I mean, know. it's not hit a tree or anything, which if it did, goodness knows what it'd been like, like yeah. that for markings, but that was one shot with a wedge. I know we're focusing on that quite a lot, but, you know, feel and control, foot on the full yeah. shot, I hit into the yeah. first green, it stopped really well. Yeah. You know, more, I wouldn't expect that from a normal, sort of yeah. off-the-shelf 20 pound yeah, yeah. ball. I was really impressed with that. I think I've been impressed with it sort of ball flight off tee. Yep. I think it's flown really well. Um, you know, good, strong ball flight. It's not sort of bloomed up yep. or struggled to get launched. I think it's just durability. I think so. I mean, that, my wedge shot into there, it did run on a little bit. Yeah. And maybe I was a bit overcritical off the putter. Yeah. I, I, you know, I did hit it hard, but I'm used to what I'm used to. So it would take a bit of adapting, I think, if somebody went for this ball and that you've got to play it regularly. And as we were saying at the start, you've got yeah. to play the same ball all the time, haven't you, for that consistency and, and, and the feel. Only, the only thing I would defend it on that one is I think if you compared this against the Nady Troll Free, yeah. you'd have probably had that same roll out anyway. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So yeah. if you compare it against that kind of market, it probably is just on par. It's yeah. no sort of better. It's more on the fuller shots it stops. Yeah. But I think I wouldn't expect that from a Strix and AD no, Troll Free, would no, you? No, really hard wearing. And if we compared it maybe to a DT Truce off the title list, yeah. I think they're going to be more hard wearing. I think so, yeah. So I think if you're looking to try and get that bit more feel and control, you know, I'd love to know if any guys are using this ball yeah. and have used it over a longer period to what you think, but I'll tell you what we might need to do another test on at some point is the Kirkland signature. Yeah. Maybe that doesn't get the respect it deserves yeah. because I've used that ball before and although it's only a three-piece ball, yeah. you don't get that. You don't get that, now. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of an honest review on yep. the cut ball. Um, it surprised us both a little bit. Yeah, I think bit so, that. yeah, definitely, yeah. But um, let's get over to your channel where we're going to be trying the new I 230 eyes. I can't wait for this one. Yeah, I'm looking it's forward to this too. It's not often you get a chance to try some eyes before you buy them, is it? Excellent, let's do it. And obviously, we're going to ask Paul plenty of questions. You know, how many weeks have you had him? Uh, three. Three Just weeks. Three weeks in, yeah. You know, is there anything you'd have done different? We'll ask you all them questions. We're not okay. going to, you don't yeah. need to answer them now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in a few days' time. Bye.